Hey there, quick intro before I start picking. Um, the, after this section I will pick this Guko Garant 10. I have picked this before, uh, but back then uh, I found out uh, it had the wrong sidebar in it. It was a Asakombi sidebar. Um, and thanks to uh, Yagias from Denmark, I have uh, uh, the correct sidebar now. In it, so time to pick it again. Uh, it took some time um, to learn again because it was a while, um, and uh, I had most trouble with um, deciding when to go to the finger pins. And most of the time, I um, started on the finger pins before all the barrel screws were set. Um, and now I got that figured out, figured out, so I'm pretty happy how it went. Uh, I'll put a timestamp in the description uh, to where it's open and when I start cutting. Um, so if you just want to see that, uh, just skip ahead. Um, and if you want to see some nice picking, um, pretty boring for some, but uh, I like it. Uh, so that's it. On to the next part of the video. Bye bye.
just like that. Fingerprints are binding. One of the mistakes I made before was moving to the fingerprints too early. some tension just because with the, this sidebar the horizontal grooves it makes a little bit this tapered a bit but it's not straight so uh, I have to reset the fingerprints from time to time At this point, I'm just nudging them on. Go. Open. Uh, um, next step, gutting. Um, I will uh, lock it up for that. to the side uh, do I have everything here I need well I have to put on the tweezers let's go um this because when learning I pricked this one once so since then I'm shimming because it is a pain to unbrick it a lot of work Six standard pins. Let's see if I can get the full 
focus on this one. There you go. You can see the double milling. That's for the barrels. On the other side as well. position they are all standard hello focus let's go to the sidebar get this down real quick so Showing this sidebar. There it is. And you can see the um, what's it called? The horizontal grooves. And I was saying it acts tapered. Well, it, it, it does, but not except not because of the grooves it's in, because they are Oh, no, 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 I'm talking rubbish. Of course, the grooves work uh, when they're not yet in the correct, at the correct height. Um, I'll show you after I get these things out. So don't forget the springs. Small, don't want to lose them. Um, finger pins. Always keep your thumb up when you remove the key because they won't be held in place anymore and they can go flying. Five finger pins. Okay, let's show you the finger pin. As you can probably see, there are vertical grooves that make rotating a bit harder. that if it's not correct it's hard to hard very hard to show but that's the way the fingerprints should fit in well a lot of people show this in other videos uh, my hands are also a bit cold so that doesn't help Blah. okay I'm getting nervous so I'm stopping with that um, one last thing Barrel spoons.
some help. As you can see, the one spring is different. That's because I lost one of the original springs and it's probably somewhere here, but I didn't find it yet. See the sidebar, boom. Let's show some bell or mirror. This is what a bell spool looks like. If you don't know already. With a thin lip and spooled ends. Um, happens when you look at the plug with a double milling um, or it, it gets caught in that milling and it gets when, when you tension it, it it gets quite stuck so you have to tap it up while playing with the tension a little bit uh, I should have set a fixed focus but well, too late for that If you want to know more about these types of pins and locks, um, there are some very nice videos explaining how to pick barrel pins. Whoop, don't go for that. Um, let's just show you. Make it here again. Pins and pop stack with the barrel spools. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.